All right, so in this video, I want to explain a few a few tips for using the FDR X3000. This is the Sony action camera that I've been using for a long time now, almost a year. And so as you can see in this video, basically I've got two things and I'm going to introduce a third thing as well, which is going to be a, a sort of wind muff to go over this microphone. But here's what I would advise you to do with this camera. Okay, so the first thing is to get this tripod. This is called the Manfrotto uh, quick release tripod and there'll be links to all of this in the description but the reason the real benefit of this is that firstly it's really sturdy construction really hard you know high um, quality it's a strong tripod it can even support DSLR you know weight cameras so it's a really strong tripod here but the important thing for vloggers you can quickly pick this thing up and it's ready to vlog with now what I'm going to show you here is why it's such a good why it's such a good vlogging cam uh, tripod because look if you press this button in here one one press and it releases the uh, the ball mount so you don't need to be unscrewing things you don't need to be fiddling around you literally just if you want this in a certain place you just press this in move the camera and let go and it's it's rock solid it's mounted in place it's not going to go anywhere and uh, this is really useful because you can just set the thing up like that you know press in the uh, the, the button there and move the camera to w whichever position you want it in and it stays there it's a really quick time saver. It really does make things easier for working with this camera. So that's the first thing. I would advise you to get a tripod like that. Now, the second thing is if you look here, now because this uh, camera is a wide angle camera, the lens, as you can see, the lens kind of sticks out a bit. So from the side, you can see that it's kind of rounded like that. Now that's great. And that enables the camera to, you know, to capture a wide angle of view. But what that means is that if you drop this thing like that, it's gonna shatter the lens. You know, it's very easy to shatter this lens because it's so uh, round, it's so curved like that. So I would highly recommend you to get one of these things, which is just a basic, you know, thing that you can clip on. I think it's about thirty dollars, which I know is expensive, uh, but, but it's a so it's because it's a Sony branded one. I, I'm sure you can get another one, but I'll link to this one in the description just in case you you do want to go ahead and get this one. And what it does is it means that you can put the camera down, you know, you can drop it. It's not gonna it's not gonna damage things. It's going to make it much less likely that you'll damage it and you know this is a this is designed to be used this camera is really designed to be used every day so that is why i like to have these bits of protection you know i like to have the lens cover and then when i'm not using it i'll put it in you know a case like i, I might put it in a case like this or uh, i'll use the waterproof case which i'll, I'll get onto that in a, uh, i'll get onto that now actually so this is the waterproof case now it, it did it did come with this case but depending on the package you buy it doesn't always come with the waterproof case but the problem with the waterproof one is like this to actually use it you need to take it off the tripod and then unclip the you know the lens protector that you normally use and then you slot it in here like that and then you put the uh, the clip down and that sort of clicks it into place and now it's waterproof and uh, the waterproof footage you'll get from this is actually pretty good. I mean, it's quite bulky, you know, compared to a GoPro. Uh, I'll just do a comparison here. This is an iPhone 8. Uh, so I guess, yeah, it's kind of, it's pocket size, but it's definitely at least, I would say at least double the size of the GoPro. The GoPro is probably like that, you know, so you, in the same space, you could fit two GoPros. So it is a bit bigger, uh, but you know, if you're underwater, you shouldn't really care about the size of your camera because it's all, Everything's weightless underwater, isn't it, really? So, yeah, look at this. This is the waterproof case. Uh, as you probably assume, it can't pick up hardly any sound while it's underwater. Uh, but it also can't pick up any sound while it's out of water in this case. So if you want to pick up sound, you need to take it out of the case. So what I would do, you know, if I was at the beach, let's say if I'm making videos underwater, I'm just, you know, filming as I'm, like, snorkeling, snorkeling or scuba diving or whatever, I come out of the water and if I want to say something I'll have to just quickly unhook this open that and then now the you know the mic can pick up what I'm saying but then you do need to be careful that you don't tilt it because it will obviously fall out of the case um, so yeah it's not ideal for if you're going in and out of water and you want to um, quickly go from being underwater to being out of water and, and talking basically but once it's in this mode this is, this is my favorite way of having the camera. And you can actually get really good footage just holding it like this, by the way. 
So I will try and link to this in the description. Um, but like I said, I will also now overlay some footage of this camera being used, you know, some actual footage that I have taken. Uh, let me just try and get a good thumbnail here. Um, and yeah, like I said, this is not a tech review channel. Okay, this is, um, this is a travel channel. This is a travel vlog channel. And I only have two cameras, this one and the one I'm filming this video with. So that is how, you know, how much I believe in these cameras. Um, they are both Sony, so I'm a bit biased, but I've tried other ones. I've, you know, I've got Canon, I've had a DSLR, I've had two GoPros for all, pretty much all of the iPhones, uh, as well as a bunch of other cheap ones as well. And the, the Sony range has just been the best for me. Um, and yeah, if you want to look at any video on my travel channel now, they're all filmed with either this camera which is the Sony FDR X3000, or they are filmed with the uh, the other one, this one, which is the Sony RX100 Mark VII. And uh, that's pretty good as well, as you can see, look, it's already blurred the background out, it's focused on my fingers there. It's, uh, it's really good, you know, this is a really good camera. But anyway, I'll make another review video of that one. So, so one other thing I would recommend, and that is the SD card. So, oh, I will actually just quickly talk about this. This red little port here is a mic input. Very important, it means you can get really good audio. No other, ca no other action camera that I've seen can do that. Uh, anyway, so if you look at the bottom here, you'll find the SD card port. And this is really good because you can decide how big the storage you want. I actually have a really big card in here. I think it's like something like 500 gigabytes. So on the 1080p setting, I can record for about 12 hours, 12 hours of stabilized footage all on this card before I need to change it, you know, and put it into my laptop and take the footage out and, and all that, that stuff. So yeah. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to tell you about the wind muff because the mic here, and as you can see, I've stuck, I've stuck one on before, uh, but you can very easily make one. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you how to do that with literally with kitchen roll and it makes an enormous difference So I'll show you that now So here's what I do Literally get a piece of kitchen roll fold it. So it's a little strip like this and then you want to basically just take it like Like that wrap it so it goes around and covers the mic just like that and then all you need to do is just you know get a hairband or something just to hold it in place there and I know it looks a bit crazy, you know, it looks a bit tacky, but in my opinion, here's what, here's what I think about this. Firstly, you shouldn't really care what th people think about your camera because no, like the videos you film with it, no one's gonna see this, okay? All they're gonna see is the video that the lens records and they're gonna hear the audio that you capture from this. Without this, if you're outside, the wind noise is pretty bad, okay? It's the same with any camera, you need a wind muff. You need a, a wind, some sort of protection from the wind. So. This is a really cheap way of doing that. And if you just do that, the audio is actually massively improved. And secondly, like I said, it really works. It's a really effective wind muff. Um, and you know, it wouldn't be as obvious if you didn't have blue bits on your kitchen roll like I do, but yeah, that's just what it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is like some tips and tricks for using the Sony FDR X3000. Uh, my channel actually does have many, many videos that are filmed with this, in fact all of them, are either filmed on this camera or the one that's filming this review video, which is the Sony um, RX100 Mark VII. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a comment letting me know whether you, can, whether, whether you prefer this or the GoPro. I prefer this, personally, and I've tried both. But anyway, let me know, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.